Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Meredith and I make lifestyle, fashion, and beauty videos. I'm a junior in college at the University of Maine and we recently just switched to all online courses due to the coronavirus. So just to kind of get you caught up, my life is a little crazy right now, but this video is actually going to be a week in my life video because I recently came back to YouTube after taking a couple months off and I posted on my Instagram, which if you don't follow it, you should definitely follow it. It's either gonna be down here or down here. I never know which one, but follow me on there because I'm always interacting with you guys on there. So I posted a questionnaire and just asked you guys to give me video ideas. And a lot of you guys said weeks in my life or days in my life. So I think this is gonna be a week in my life. It might be like a three day thing because my days are a little crazy lately even though I'm on break it's like I'm still go 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 so I just got off an advising call with my college advisor because we have to do them via zoom which is kind of like skype so I was supposed to have one with her in person but obviously the campus is closed now so I just had a video chat with her to sign me up for classes in the fall and like I said I'm a junior but I'm actually a senior standing junior like senior standing third year which is kind of cool I didn't know that but I've been a senior standing I guess she told me this morning and she gave me the option to graduate in the fall which I was like no oh my god I'm not ready for that especially now that this semester was kind of like taken from us physically like with each other and socially um not having a spring semester really sucks especially here in Maine when like spring is so beautiful and fall is so beautiful too but like the winter like you could have taken that away from me but anyway, she told me I could have graduated in the fall, which really scared me. So I'm like, no, I want to graduate with my class and graduate in the spring. So I just set up all my classes and it's going to be a little crazy in the fall, but then in the spring it will calm down. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm dressed in my gym clothes because I'm off to the gym. It's 9.30, I have to be there at 10. So I'm going to go downstairs and grab something to eat really quick and then head to the gym. Okay guys, I just left the gym and I'm headed to the tanning salon to get a little tanning since it's spring break and I'm still in Maine. <laughs> I know I went to Florida and stuff, but I kind of got a, a sunburn so my tan's like peeling off. So I'm going to Suntan City to get my tan on and then I have a collaboration with Dunkin' Donuts tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to Duncan and kind of do all the shots that I need for tomorrow and then I will post those tomorrow and we will be good and then I'm hoping to hang out with Alexa later today I need to see what she's up to but my friend that I lived with my freshman year of college and she stayed at the college and I transferred we don't get to see each other too much because we live in different states now but She's home for an extra week because of the coronavirus, so I'm gonna see what she's up to. She's moving into a new house, so maybe she'll be able to show me the construction on that. But yeah, I don't really have any major plans today. I'm just kind of seeing where the day takes me. Hey guys, so it is 1.30 and I'm headed to my friend Alexa's house. We're just gonna hang out for a little bit. 
We were supposed to go to Duncan together because tomorrow I have to post something for my collaboration with Duncan and I just got an email from the representative I've been working with and she told me that Duncan has decided to put all of their influencer collaborations on hold for the time being because of, you know, the coronavirus. It's just kind of affecting a lot of people in different ways. And I'm not really sure why Duncan put it on hold because they are a larger company and I don't really see like why they would have too much of a financial worry about this situation, but I can just, I just have to respect their choices and stuff like that and I can understand like unnecessary marketing for the time being. Oh my God, this is my brother. Hi. I'm not going to your house. I'm going to Alexis. Say hi. What are you doing? Going back to work. Oh, do you just let Bentley out? Yeah. Oh. Bye. Bye. That's so funny. I'm driving through my brother's neighborhood um, to get to my friend's house, so it's just funny that I ran into him. But anyway, I can understand why Duncan would put this on hold. It does really suck for me because I don't know if you guys have seen my last couple of videos because I've talked about it a lot because it's just happening in my life right now. It's very relevant, so I don't want to say the same thing over and over again if you guys have watched this video, so I'm just going to try to make it quick. But my school is on a online only academic schedule from here on out so that sucks and now the place that I work for has decided to cut part-time hours to save financially and just like bear the storm um, while the coronavirus is still relevant and just hopefully get us out of any like financial holes um, in the future so I can understand again why they're cutting hours for part-time workers but I'm on a two-week quarantine from work because I left the state and before I left I did not know that they would be putting us on a quarantine but that's what they decided to do so I can't go into work for 14 days so I still have one day left and or not one day left one week left and then um, once I go back my hours are cut back so financially I'm a little worried because I don't really have hours at work and now this collaboration is put on hold which I would have made um, a good amount of money for so I'm a little annoyed but again I understand everything that's going on and there's nothing I can do about it there's nothing that like anyone else can really do about it but wait for the storm to end so I'm at Alexis now, and I don't really know what we're gonna do, but she's always a good time, so we'll have fun. Hey guys, it is Monday afternoon now. It is 6.20, and I'm going to pick up some takeout because I've heard that they're probably gonna put a ban on all restaurants pretty soon in the state of Maine because they already have in Massachusetts and half of New Hampshire. So I'm kind of treating myself and getting some sushi from my favorite restaurant before they completely close down all the restaurants in Maine. So that is what I'm doing. Jeff is going out to dinner with some of his friends because he just got news today that his school is now shutting down for the rest of the semester and going to online schooling just like University of Maine did because um, he doesn't go to the same college as I do. So he got that news today and he's a senior, so it really sucks for the seniors especially. So he's just kind of spending some time with his friends from school because they don't really live around here, so it really sucks for him. So he's gonna have some time with them tonight and probably tomorrow too. But not only did his school cancel for the rest of the semester to online classes, but because he has to go to school for the next two days, um, Wednesday is his last physical day, um, his work does not want him coming into work. So they're making him work remotely for at least two weeks, which pushes back his new job that he was supposed to start on the 25th, I believe. Thankfully, it's with the same company, so his like new boss would totally understand um, why it needs to be pushed back but he has to work remotely from home for two weeks and I was just with him at his house trying to get all that software set up on his laptop and it was not 
going so well so I feel bad for him because this is just such a stressful time and now he has to work from home and now go to school from home and it just totally sucks for him so that's what we've been dealing with for the past couple of hours but yeah I hung out with Alexa today I went to see her new house oh dang it I forgot this road's closed shoot There's like a major road closed near Jeff's house. Wait, can I still get on the highway? Oh, yay! Okay, I can still get on the highway. But anyway, that's what we've been dealing with today. I just kind of had a chill day. I got some things knocked off my to-do list, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get some takeout and then uh, complete some last couple of things on my to-do list. I have a what I eat in a day going up, so that should already be up by the time you guys see this video. So just some computer work, which I will be doing a lot from here on out. Also, while I'm at a red light, I just wanna say this really quickly, that I found out that I am no longer going to New York Fashion Week for Bridal Fashion Week with my owner, which totally sucks, cause that was like, a reward for having the highest closing ratio and just kind of working hard at my job. I got rewarded with a trip to New York City with my boss to go see the Bridal Fashion Week for a new line of dresses that we're going to be carrying in one of our stores and they just canceled it. So that's really the icing on the cake of like things are just getting worse and worse and worse and I'm trying to stay positive. I'm trying to like not feed into the negativity too much but like Things are getting really shitty, so uh, I'm gonna stay positive, but yeah, I just want to keep you guys updated on that because that's no longer something that I'm able to do as of now. It says that it's been canceled as of now, so like they might reschedule it, but I'll have to wait and see. Okay guys, I'm hopping on for the last time tonight because I got my sushi. I don't know if I told you, but a couple of states are having restaurant shutdowns and I'm just so scared of that happening in Maine. So I got my favorite sushi from my favorite restaurant to, you know, have one last time in case Maine goes on a restaurant shutdown. And I'm just watching some YouTube. I'm going to start editing my next video and yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, good morning. It is Tuesday morning and it's actually St. Patrick's Day, which is funny because I didn't even realize that when I picked out this shirt last night. But it is, I believe, like 10.30. Yeah, 10.30 in the morning and I woke up about an hour and a half ago because I slept in a little bit because last night I could not fall asleep. So I took two melatonin at like midnight. So it made me sleep until like nine o'clock and I'm still a little like hazy. Taking melatonin makes me like weird in the morning. But anyway... It's um, 10.30 and I've just kind of been chilling in bed. I've been going through social media a little bit because a lot of people have been posting um, just kind of about the virus and Tom Brady announced that he's leaving the Patriots this morning. So social media has kind of been a storm. So I've been reading through some of that. And then some of my friends posted some inspirational quotes on Instagram, which really put me in the mood to turn to my Bible. So I grabbed my Bible off my nightstand and I just did a little Bible study and it felt really good because I do have a lot of anxiety about this situation. So it's been good for me to just kind of like turn to the Bible and realize that it's in God's hands and there's nothing that I can do. So I need to just let go and let God and you know turn to him when I am stressed rather than turning to social media when I'm stressed because that just makes everything worse. So I had a great little Bible study this morning and I actually want to show you guys my Bible really quickly. All right so this is my Bible it's a hand painted Bible and on the front it says I will put my trust in you alone and I will not be shaken which is a lyric from one of my favorite worship songs and then on the spine it says the Holy Bible and here on the back is a Bible verse from Isaiah, it's 43.2, and it says, When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. So this Bible is hand-painted and custom done by a girl named Madison Carey. She's on Instagram, that's how I found her. But she has an Etsy shop, and so she hand-painted this whole Bible for me, and then did little spirals on the side, and said, I will not be shaken, which is another lyric from that same song. 
and kind of did the doodle up into here, which I haven't put my name in it yet because I'm just so scared that I'm gonna like ruin this book and somehow. So I'm gonna pull up her Instagram so you guys can see her. So yeah, it's Sparrow X Wildflowers. This is her Instagram and she does have an Etsy shop linked in her um, bio. She does a bunch of Bibles and they're so cool. She has like the coolest designs and you can do them custom or you can choose one of her like pre-selected Bibles. Oh, this is mine. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even realize that. So yeah, she does a really great job and she can do them custom or whatever you want, change out the colors. So I highly recommend her. So go follow her on Instagram and get a Bible if you're looking for one because this one is perfect. It's perfect for like journaling too because it has like all these sides um, for writing and yeah, I've absolutely loved it. So now I am going to go downstairs and make some breakfast. just checking in it is now Tuesday afternoon I'm sorry if you can hear the dishwasher going because it's really loud right now but I am just checking in because I have not been vlogging too much today but that's just kind of because I haven't been doing a lot I've had a really weird day because of that melatonin that I took last night it just made my morning so like groggy and ugh, I did not feel good this morning but I think you guys last saw me when I was having my breakfast and starting some computer work so i started to edit a what i eat in the day vlog and that will be going up thursday so that will be up by the time that you guys see this video so i got that all edited and i got a lot of stuff done on my computer and some appointments rescheduled and just kind of took care of a couple things on my to-do list and now jeff just got out of class kind of he stayed after um because Today was his last like real physical day of class. So he was hanging out with some of his senior friends, but he is coming home now and we plan to have like a little quarantine movie night, movie marathon, I guess you could call it because we just don't really have anything to do. He starts um, online work from home tomorrow. So I kind of just want to have a fun night with him. I feel really, really bad for him and all the seniors that are getting affected by this virus and how it's affecting all of their semesters. I mean, I know how badly it's affected mine and I can't imagine being a senior and like not having a graduation now. So I feel really bad for him. So I kind of just want to have a fun night and just relax and get his mind on off bad things and like onto more positive things. So I think we might go to Walmart to pick up some snacks. I have some popcorn and stuff here but i kind of want to get some sweets and then also um i just want to stock up on a few things like i'm out of makeup wipes and stuff like that so when he gets here um we might have dinner i think we're just gonna have like leftovers for dinner we have some quesadillas left over i have some taco meat left over so nothing crazy for dinner but i'm excited for a little movie marathon and i need to start looking up some good movies because so many people have been posting like movies that they've been watching during this like quarantine so i feel like we're gonna find a couple good ones so once he gets here i will fill you guys back in with the plan Okay, so this is our little movie quarantine night in. So I picked up some of my favorite candy from the store, some gummy worms, cotton candy, and then that's real movie theater popcorn. I went to a movie theater to get it because I love movie theater popcorn. And then I just set up this little bed for Jeff and I in the living room so that we can enjoy some movies. Yeah, can I do a grande iced coffee with no classic light cream and extra caramel drizzle? Absolutely. No, thank you. Thanks. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? How are you in there? And how much is the order behind me, actually? Uh, I am not sure. 
A lot. Okay, I'll do hers too. Alright, yours is 383. Ah, my elbow. <laughs> and 373. Thank there. you. Have a great day. You too. Hey guys, just checking back in. I've been home for a little bit. It's one o'clock now and I'm going to leave at like 1.30 for my nail appointment. So I'm gonna try to have some lunch and watch a show right now. I just did some work on my phone for a little bit and put on some makeup for the first time in a couple days. So it feels good to have like foundation on and stuff like that. So I'm gonna continue to work on my phone a little bit, which I didn't film obviously, cause it's kind of hard to film, but um, get a little more work done, make some lunch, hopefully get my show in. I don't think I'll be able to watch the whole thing and then head out to my nail appointment. And then Jeff has that little graduation thing today. So I, so he's gonna be doing that for a little bit and I'm gonna have to go pick him up because he will have been drinking and obviously can't drive. So I'm gonna do a little road trip because he lives about, an hour away from my house or not lives um his school is an hour away from my house so it's gonna be a little trip which is fine i'm happy to get out of the house and you know be in a safe space but like not be cooped up in my house anymore so yeah i'm gonna make a quick lunch and i get my nails done because they are not good and um my nail girl is shutting down her shop next week for the next couple of weeks so Oh, I desperately need to get my nails done. <laughs> okay guys, so I just got out of my nail appointment and this is the color that I chose. It's number 11 with Just Nail. I'm not exactly sure what the color name is. I looked on the little container today and it didn't have a name, but it's a very natural, like light pink color. And I chose this because she's closing the shop for a couple of days and I think when it grows out, it'll look pretty natural. It's not gonna have a bad grow out, so. Yeah, I absolutely love this color. This is like my fourth time doing it, but it's just such a good color. So now I am going to head home and I think I'm going to start some laundry again. No plan for today. So just kind of like taking it all as it comes because I'm obviously recording this video and every video that I've done is filmed. I have a video going up tomorrow and then I think I'm going to film this until Friday since it's a week in my life so once this is all filmed then I'm going to move on to the next video which I'm not sure what that's gonna be yet but stay tuned hey hey I am just checking in it is five o'clock and I can't believe it's five o'clock and I think that's because daylight savings time has made it so that it's obviously much lighter for later in the day and it just has still been messing with me even though it changed like a couple weeks ago it still kind of messes me up but anyway i'm hopping on to tell you a little story because you guys know that coronavirus is ruining everything for like everyone and jeff's like graduation is like canceled and he's doing it today and uh just so much has been like closing for obvious reasons but it's just been like really frustrating and I have a hair appointment tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And this appointment has moved a couple times because she had an allergic reaction and then she accidentally double booked, like reasonable reasons, but it's just like, it's been a frustrating appointment because we've had to move it a couple times. And so it's tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And I was really scared that like her salon was gonna close. So I booked like a 9 a.m. appointment because I was like, I'm not risking it closing like this week, they're closing. <laughs> so yeah, that's really frustrating. But I did talk to her and I was like, they're closing because they think that someone who had coronavirus came into their salon. And I was talking to Savannah about it, my hairstylist. And I was like, do you think, cause she sent me this like automated message basically that she's sending to everyone that she has booked um, to reschedule people. And I asked her, I was like, do you think it's safe or possible to come to my house instead of like doing it in the salon? Because she wasn't exposed to the person that they think have, has the coronavirus and they weren't, ex she wasn't exposed to the stylist that worked with her 
but she was exposed to two people that were present when that person came in so it's kind of risky but where she wears gloves like as her job she's always wearing gloves and then she'd be wearing gloves with me i'm not too worried about it so i told her like i'm personally okay if you come over and do my hair because i need it <laughs> that bad as you can see so um I think she's comfortable with it and I think she's going to come tomorrow, which is so funny because our very first appointment together, something had happened with the salon that she was working at and they wouldn't let her take me. I don't know if like she couldn't take a certain number of people a day because she was still in school, but she's just like, screw it. I'll take you at home. Like just come over to my house and I'll do your hair at my house. So my first appointment with her, she was like washing my hair in the kitchen sink and it was just like so ghetto, but so funny. And she was like... I'm sorry this is so ghetto and just ratchet and stuff like that and it was so funny because our first appointment was just a funny experience and now we are going back to our roots and having an at-home salon day tomorrow so I am excited to see her um and I think it'll be fun to kind of have it at home so I'm gonna have a little at-home salon day tomorrow instead of going to the salon which I honestly feel safer about because I don't want to go somewhere where someone has been if I can help it so yeah she's gonna come tomorrow morning and that's just what we're gonna do but I really need my hair done that bad so okay guys it is now like 9 30 and I'm about to go drive an hour to get Jeff who is at a little graduation party because he had like a fake graduation today since all of his classes are getting switched to online they kind of celebrated graduation today because we don't know if he's gonna have a real graduation so now there's a little after party and <laughs> i told him that i would come get him so that he doesn't have to sleep there so i'm about to go drive like two and a half hours because this um campus is like an hour and 15 minutes from where i live so good old two hour drive on a wednesday night but I just feel so bad for him. This lighting is not good. I just feel so bad for him and all of like his graduation festivities getting taken from him. So I'm more than happy to go drive there in the middle of the night um, just so he can have a good time. So I'm gonna leave in a little bit. I'm gonna take off my makeup first and then I will head out. But I probably won't see you guys until tomorrow morning because I'll be driving. So I will catch back up with you once Savannah is here to do my hair. Okay guys, this is the setup right now. I'm currently processing. Sav came over, did my hair this morning, and I'm so thankful for her because I don't know if I would have lasted. My hair would have been ratchet in this quarantine. So she brought her little stand, all her supplies, and this is what we're doing. Hey guys, so it is Thursday afternoon and I'm at my parents' house now. I got my hair done today and it feels so good. It's just like everything I wanted and it was like full foil so it's all blonde underneath and I just really needed that. I feel like I need it like once or twice a year, like a full, full foil. So I'm actually in my parents' sunroom right now that is currently being built. It's gonna be so pretty. I can't wait for this room to be done but it's just the room with the best lighting so that's why i came in here to film and it's actually freezing because it's not heated right now but anyway we are having dinner at my parents house my brother and his girlfriend can't make it because she's not feeling well and we don't know what it is so we are just social distancing from her for now but um my aunt and uncle are coming i'm so excited because we don't get to see them that often anymore so i'm excited to see them and just my parents and have a good home cooked meal because i have been quarantining and just making the same meals over and over i feel like so i'm excited to have my mom's cooking so yeah i'll probably vlog a little bit of dinner tonight um but yeah other than that today was just a hair appointment because it took so long i don't know if the camera's shaking but i'm starting to shake because i am so freezing so I'm gonna go back inside, but I'll keep you guys updated. Friday morning, workout is complete. That killed me. Beautiful people! 
Happy Friday everyone, even though you'll probably be seeing this on a Saturday or Sunday. But yeah, it's Friday morning. I got my workout in. I just picked up a smoothie from this local cafe. They make the best smoothies. And I'm trying to shop local and support little local businesses. So I picked up a smoothie and I'm gonna go home and make some eggs. And Emily, it's finally home, thank God. I'm going insane without her. So my best friend Emily has been out of town for the past week and she was supposed to come home on Saturday, but she came home yesterday and I'm so happy that she came home early. I kind of feel bad for her, but I feel good for me because I'm so ready to see her. So I'll probably hang out with her for a little bit and just kind of catch up and see what she's been up to because we haven't talked too much since she's been on vacation. So, yeah, just gonna hang out with Emily. I need to shower. And again, no plans. <laughs> oh, the quarantine life is killing me. checking in it is Friday afternoon this day has been very very weird for me I just have not felt good from the second I woke up I didn't fall asleep until very late last night and then I had to wake up and go to the gym but my alarms didn't go off for the gym until I was at the gym even though I had set them for like eight o'clock when I had the gym at nine so I like woke up in a panic and then I went to the gym and like my alarms were going off there. My phone has been very weird, like doing random things that just don't make any sense. So I went to the gym and then I came home and I showered and I had a little bit of breakfast, caught up on social media and all that stuff. And then Emily came over and we talked for a little bit because it was our first time catching up in a while since she just got back from Florida. So we talked for quite a bit and then we made lunch and talked again for quite a bit and then she had to go like unpack and stuff and I watched a couple YouTube videos and then I fell asleep on the couch which is weird because again I don't nap I don't know like why I've been napping so much lately I think it's just because I don't have a routine and my sleep schedule has been all off so I fell asleep took a nap and then the nap was like long I don't know how long it was I don't know when I fell asleep but I woke up at like four 30 ish and I think I fell asleep at like one which like that's pretty long <laughs> for me to be napping and my nap like when I was dreaming in my nap it was really like stressful dreams like uh just a bunch of bad things that I dreamt about so I woke up like ugh, not feeling good feeling really foggy and sometimes I nap and I feel great but most of the time when I nap I wake up feeling worse than I did before I fell asleep so that's why my hair is a little crazy because <laughs> I took a nap and on the couch. So Jeff just got home, he brought me some at Chick-fil-A and he told me that there's been a couple states that have done statewide shutdowns and he said that he thinks it might be a little possible for Maine because we do have a lot of cases. So we are gonna go get some groceries. He just needs groceries and I'm getting a little worried because I'm getting low and I don't want them to put a shutdown on and me have nothing. So I am gonna go get some more groceries for this week because I'm low anyway. Jeff is low, so we'll probably go to a couple stores and then come back. And I kind of made buffalo chicken patties for dinner. Like I made them for lunch and didn't end up eating any of them. So Jeff and I will probably have those for dinner. And then who knows, there's a bunch of like movie recommendations going around. So maybe another movie night, but I feel like maybe we'll play on the Wii tonight because I need to get some movement in like I know I went to the gym but I never just sit around and do nothing so I'm gonna need to like do just dance or learn some TikTok dances or something because I need to get moving so I think walking around and going to the grocery store will help but I will check back in later all right guys it is Friday night and I think I'm gonna call it a night 
it is oh 10 o'clock exactly and i'm about to head up to bed we went grocery shopping and put away the groceries and i kind of cleaned out my pantry cupboard a little bit and then jeff was watching a show catching up on a show that we watched together because i watched it without him this week so he watched one of our shows while i did some laundry and tomorrow we will definitely be getting out of the house i don't know what we're gonna do because there's only so much you can do with this social distancing and quarantining to like get out and be safe so we'll go for a walk or something but I just don't like how tired and lazy and like unproductive that I felt today and I think it's like there's only so much I can do with no school and no work like I don't have much to do other than YouTube stuff so uh, today was just hard I just feel very lazy and un unaccomplished so tomorrow we will do something to get out of the house but yeah let me know down below if you guys like these week in my life vlogs or if you'd rather the day in my life vlogs that i do so let me know if you'd rather more frequent ones that are like a little bit shorter or if you'd like longer ones that are kind of more spread out and not as detailed as the day in my life i feel like this week in my life was a little boring because like i said i don't have work or school going on but it's very real this is what's going on and i'm sure you guys can relate to that so with that being said, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope you liked the other videos that I put up this week. It's been so fun to get back into YouTube and just have some fun with it. So I'm not really sure what next, what my next video will be, but let me know down below if you like the week in my life or if you'd prefer the day in my life. So comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Meredith and I make videos on lifestyle, fashion, beauty, college, all things in that realm so subscribe if that's something you're interested in and i love you guys so much i will see you in my next video bye